Hey there! John and Cynthia here, and we are showing you our latest mad science project. This is a 1962 Corvair Monza. Woohoo! We're so happy to finally bring this home. We've had it, we bought it over a year ago, and finally brought it home. All right, we'll show you around. We haven't done a thing to it yet, and what we're going to do is kind of fill you guys in as we work on this free. Okay. As you can see, the car is virtually rust free. Chevy Corvair was, back in the day, Chevrolet's response to the Volkswagen Beetle, which was getting to be pretty popular. And what Chevy did was they went with a boxer, basically a hor horizontally opposed six-cylinder motor. So this is a flat six before Porsche began putting a similar motor in their uh, 911 which I believe happened in 63 or 64. So this is a 62. And at some point we'll, we'll get this thing fired up and, and uh, running. But in great shape. There's no rust going on here in the engine compartment um, other than some surface rust, that type of thing. So moving around, if you look down through the rear window, you can see that all the stainless pieces, all the body panels, interior here again, um, dashes pretty much intact. We managed to find a couple of radios, so we will have a working radio in here at some point. There it goes. All fresh rubber seals for the doors and the windows, which is great to see. This is fairly expensive, and it's really, really good to see it um, here as we work on the car. Uh, a lot of the uh, engine bay tin is here. Um, all of the door handles. It's in two pieces now. <sighs> Lots of stuff was used to live in there. everything out and the next step is to clean it wash it all down John's gonna take out the driver's seat too You can see the original versus the paint, repaint. You can see 
see how the car really cleaned up. It's looking good. We're gonna do some more cleaning though. It's just too hot out. The last I look it was 87 degrees, so we're gonna have to wait till it cools down. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So day two of our Labor Day weekend with the dogs and the Corvair. Cynthia is using this amazing interior cleaner um, and it is knocking unbelievable. This, these are 62, 1962 seats and I guess they don't make them like they used to because they're really cleaning up good. Now we are planning on reupholstering. Mm -hmm. It's really cleaning up good. I'm just starting to last a bit. Even because they're behind all the little creaks. So we were able to get the seats out without too much trouble. I think when they painted the car, they pulled the seats. So we kind of luck out there. But I wanted to show you um, what great shape the headliner is in. Again, this side's pretty badly stained. But then you run over and it's just cleaning up really, really well. The fabric, the fabric is in really good shape. It's, it's not tearing getting the dash cleaned up a little bit. Switches all work. So the doors, got those lubricated with lithium and they are closing. And need a little bit more work, but as you can see, working really, really well. Uh, after removing the air cleaner here, we're just going to see if this thing will fire. The battery was completely dead. Um, so, just a little shot of WD. Do you need the gas? Into the cards. I'm not going to run gas oh, yet. Oh, okay. be the way to do it. All right. <clears throat> so what I need you to do is hold it. Yeah, hold it near the bolt, not on the bolt, but real close to it. It needs to jump the gap. Like that. Closer. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Living dangerously. Okay, here we go. We got the spark. Oh, there is spark? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, so we got spark, which is good news. It's going to dole a little bit of fuel in the carbs. Okay. Okay, something. Okay. All right. And you'll want to be back in yeah, case it we're gonna say, we're gonna close back. off right off the back what's that the belt oh, came the belt off. Fall off but it works yeah these belts are famous for coming off and if the belt 
comes off, you have no cooling. We got the Corvair cleaned up and we got it fired up. We did. So, woohoo. Good, good news, good stuff. So now the next um, major hurdle will be gas tank. I'll probably order a gas tank and tires. Uh, 